Mr. Rogers' hypocrisy is only eclipsed by his astounding laziness or outright deception, as you will soon see. In his latest installment, Mr. Rogers questions Jacob's background and ethnicity, insinuating that he's just not Jewish enough, and comparing him with the Jewishness of David Nathan. This is not merely a petty thing for someone to do, but it is frankly weird. The very clear and distinct impression given here is that because both David Nathan's parents are Jewish, that makes him more credible than someone who only has one Jewish parent. One Jewish parent. And I was sent by my father to a Jewish community center. I was both sprinkled and clipped. Do you think then that your draw to dealing with things of the children of Israel, of the, of the Jews, is that because of your own ancestry, your own heritage, you, your father was Jewish even though it was nominal and no, secular? No, 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 no. What, what um, drew you to that? If, if you read my testimony online, not, not my wife's family is fully Jewish, her parents are Holocaust survivors, her children are born in Galilee. Um, I myself was brought up Roman Catholic because of my mother. Uh, some crazy people put something on the internet about my background and identity, and I maternally complete Irish Catholic, as far as I know. Complete Irish Catholic for generations back. I don't know anything other. One Jewish parent. One Jewish parent.